I'm Mark McCarthy. I'm uh, a climate research scientist at the Met Office and I'm one of the consulting scientists on the Opal Climate Survey. The Opal Climate Survey is all about being a uh, collaboration between uh, the public and uh, ongoing genuine uh, research activities. So one of the responsibilities uh, as the consultant scientist is to make sure that we get that balance right between uh, wider participation um, but also underpinning it a genuine uh, research question that, that uh, we would be able to advance with the uh, results that we would get from this survey. So it's all about sort of all of us being scientists essentially uh, in, in this project. And how are we doing this? Well it took a lot of trial and error um, even to the point of, of getting all my colleagues here at the Met Office uh, blowing bubbles all around Exeter on our way to uh, Christmas lunch a few years ago. Um, to develop what has resulted in um, an activity that is accessible, uh, hopefully fun and engaging for people to do, uh, and for which you don't really need uh, a PhD in atmospheric physics to do, but it's underpinned by, uh, as I've said before, the, the sort of genuine research questions that, that we're asking ourselves here um, to do with uh, uh, microclimates within the UK and within the spaces that we tend to spend our time. So who do I work with? Well within the Opal Climate Group is a, a mix of meteorologists and community scientists who are actively engaged with working with schools and community groups uh, and a number of other people from a range of organisations uh, that really bring a lot of ideas to the table. So, so there's been a lot of uh, discussion and debate in um, building up the Opal Climate Survey and, and bringing it to, to uh, a point that, that um, we should be able to get some, some great results uh, and use out of. So my typical working day uh, is generally office based uh, and I sit at the computer. I'm working with mathematical uh, models and also uh, doing analysis on, on large amounts of, of data from observations but also from the uh, computer models. Um, and Opal has been a fantastic experience for thinking about ways in which to actually take climate research out of the office uh, and into the places that we sort of like to spend our time, whether that's parks or, or um, gardens or, or, or anywhere else. Um, and so this has been a really great opportunity for me to do that. One of the things we've discovered already is that the bubble wind measurements are um, producing fantastic data uh, and it's comparable with uh, our expectations. So it means that, that hopefully we can really get some useful insights into our wind microclimates uh, with these uh, measurements on a scale that we just wouldn't be able to capture with our standard uh, uh, meteorological monitoring networks. The weirdest thing uh, that Opal has, has brought up is uh, I'll confess that being interviewed um, by Sarah Montague on Radio 4's Today programme about blowing bubbles uh, certainly isn't something I could ever have predicted to have happened in my career here. Um, and so that, th there's always the unexpected uh, uh, will happen. 